Hi everyone! Today I'm doing um, my eyeliner and mascara look. A few guys have requested for me to do um, how I do my makeup on my eyes. So today, to show you guys what I've done, um, this right eye I have done my um, eyeliner and mascara, as you can hopefully see, and on this eye I haven't. Now today, for you guys, um, I've started off with just putting a Bourjois Paris um, eyeshadow on my eyes. Um, I didn't want to go too dark on the eyeshadow so you could see um, the eye eyeliner that I've done more defined and also my mascara. Um, but you might have noticed on a few of my um, previous videos I used darker, more bolder eyeshadows. Um, but on this occasion I wanted to go for a, a subtle summery look. So this compact comes with a mirror and a little brush and all I've done is I've sweeped it right across um, all over up to my brow, brow bone like that and it's like a subtle pink colour um, with some sparkles on now the eyeliner that I'm going to be using today um, is a Maybelline New York one and I've chose this one because it's available worldwide um, it's also one of my favourite brands um, my eyes are quite sensitive um, and using other brands um, sometimes makes them a little bit watery and sore. So this is my favourite. I think it's good value for money and it also goes on really easily. So um, great for beginners and also can be played with if you are a little bit more um, better at using eyeliners, more advanced in makeup. So to start off with, I'm going to hold the eye. I'm supporting it but I'm not actually pulling it because if you hold it up like that when you do your line it'll be wonky and wobbly when you let go so I'm going to just support it and I'm going into the corner of my eye and I'm using a light stroke right across to neaten it up just across there like that supporting the eye like so now I'll show you there that's my line if for some reason it's gone a little bit wonky, you're not happy with it, all I do is just take a cotton bud and just smooth the line out. If you've got any little bits, you just go like that, smooth it out and make it neat. Okay? Now onto the bottom, I do the same. I hold my eye and I just start at the corner and sweep across like that. Now if you want it more defined, you can go a little bit thicker, you can keep checking, as I say, have a have a mirror handy that you're doing it in front of and just keep checking, looking, looking straight forward and check each one. Now what I've done on my right eye here is I've actually put my eyeliner onto the white bit of my eye. Now I've done this um, because it makes it more defined and if you're going for a smoky look it also makes it um, st stand out more. So I'm just going to hold my eye and go down and put it on that bit as well. Now with your eyeliner you can choose pencil or you can also go for a liquid one. It, it depends on what you prefer um, and what you're used to. Now this, if you was going to use a liquid one, I've got one handy to show you, it would just be straightforward the same as what you did before but you just have to be extra careful because um, with liquid you haven't got as much um, scope to go wrong so with liquid, I'll just show you on the eye that I've already done earlier you just go straight across like that and paint it on now the, the good side with liquid um, as opposed to the um, pencil is that the liquid nib is really really tiny so if you are wanting to do flicks really small you know it's really good to define your flicks and have them really small like that but um, as I like to put my eyeliner under my eye I find with liquid it actually um, makes my eyes quite watery now once you've put all your makeup on and finish off with your mascara you haven't really got the um, scope to have a major disaster just before you're going out the door with watery eyes so that's why I've gone for the pencil but if you want to try this look, you can sample either one, it's up to you. Now to finish off with, um, I'm going for another Bourjois Paris um, product and this is 
the um, liner effect mascara and I've chose this because um, of the brush it's a really fine um, neat brush it's not going to give you a clumped effect this is just to um, line your lashes and um, to show your eyeliner off now if you've got huge thick um, lashes on you're not going to see your eyeliner as well as with this um, it gives you a really nice doe eyed effect and it's um, really easy to apply so I'm going to show you I'm just going to brush it up onto my lashes and as you can see it separates them it doesn't clump them together which I like and to the side I'm just going to turn the brush onto the side and get every single little one in the corners like that and on the bottom I'm going to um, just gently coat it across like that so that's how I do my eyeliner and mascara um, for this natural well it's not exactly natural but it, it's um, with the light eyeshadow it just draws your attention just to your eyes so if I sit back for you it just makes your eyes stand out really well now it doesn't really matter what colour um, your eyes are people have you know said your eyes look nice but the blue it doesn't matter what colour it I think my personal opinion is it looks really really great um, with dark hazel brown eyes because it makes them stand out and um, makes the lashes look really great um, but as I said any colour eyes um, you can try this eyeliner effect and the just gentle mascara so um, thank you guys for watching my eyeliner and mascara tutorial um, please leave me a comment rate this video and if you haven't already go on to my website which is www.babo.tv or you can just type in google babo.tv and it will go straight to the youtube or the home page and um, leave me a comment so thank you very much for watching, see you later.